Mako Pro Team angler Andrew Badulovic lives on the south coast of New South Wales and he just so happens to live in one of the best whiting on surface lures fisheries on the coast. Here in this clip he'll share his tips on how to go about catching these fish and interestingly I learned a fair bit in fishing with him on the day looking at my own retrieve versus his it was distinctly different he winds a lot faster I actually wind a lot slower and I've got to say on this day he comprehensively outfished me well flats fishing for me is an exciting way to spend a couple of hours it's quite easy and it's accessible what I'm looking for is small subtleties such as sand drop-offs changes of depth even changes of sand color they become visible with a good quality pair of polarized eyewear I can identify these areas and possibly even locate feeding fish in those areas but if you can find those fish that are sitting in behind these small drop-offs they're the ones that are going to attack your lure my lure of choice when I fish the flats is a surface lure basically because we're fishing shallow water so everything that lives in that shallow water is going to be able to see it However, it's also an exciting way to, to fish. I, I think the visual of a fish coming up and smacking a surface offering is worth more than casting a minnow or a plastic or something. That sight fishery is just something that really excites me and draws me to fish the flats with surface lures time after time. I never get sick of seeing a fish come up and belt a lure off the top. I generally opt for a longer rod which will aid cast distance. Cast distance is vital on the flats, but I like a really light sort of rod. I'd like a rod about seven foot six in length with a line rating about one to two kilo. You want a nice crisp rod, but with a soft tip to work those light lures. I like to wind the lure quite quickly to get a reaction. Sometimes I'll pause it and then wind it quickly again. Basically you, you stop and start, so it's an erratic sort of uh, stop start retrieve. That teasing them up approach can get some really good results. I like to use braid to really get that lure working. I think the braid brings that lure to life better than just mono straight through. I, I actually like to snap that lure through the water aggressively and sometimes and quite often pause the lure and then snap it aggressively again. So it's an erratic skitter. Without a pair of sunglasses with good polarizing qualities, you just can't fish successfully. There's a lot of hit and miss, but a lot of those fish that I'm hooking, I'm actually seeing them follow the lure and I'm teasing them into eating that offering. I'm not just cranking it and hoping for them to climb on, I'm actually working really hard by reading the body language of that fish. I can tell when it's lit up and it's gonna eat, or I can tell when it doesn't want to eat it, it's just curious. I can actually get some of those curious fish to strike by altering my retrieve, but I can't do that unless I can see. And that's where my polarized vision is basically the most important tool to me when I'm flats fishing.